Welcome back friends and we are continuing with the session of organic evolution or uh, this is part 4 of the previous video that you found in this channel. Don't forget to subscribe and share the link for the channel and for this video also for the chemistry, uh, biology, uh, I mean physics, also mathematics periods. Uh, to na tukiketo organic evolution na kipindi cha kilichopita cha jana tuliangalia kusu theories za organic evolution tukaangalia kuanzia special creation uh, tukaangalia special creation tukaangalia uh, mambo ya spontaneous generation tukaangalia steady state tukaangalia cosmos one pamoja na uh, biochemical theory asa tuendelee leo leo tunaenda kwenye theories of organic evolution kama nilivyosema jana kwamba organic evolution maana yake ni kwamba kiumbe tayari hapa sasa kiumbe tayari upo lakini anakuwa na undergo changes ana undergo mabadiliko ili aweze kuendana na mazingira fulani. Kwa hiyo kulingana na organic evolution according to organic evolution atuamini kwamba kiumbe huwa hawi vile vile alivyotoka alivyoumbwa. Bali tunaamini kiumbe ana undergo changes with time ana undergo mabadiliko with time ili aweze ku adapt. Ku adapt maana yake kama kuendana na mazingira adaptation aweze kuendana na mazingira. So organic evolution simply means biological evolution mechanism by which organism undergo gradual changes from simple to complex form in the course of time if they adapt the environment as directed by natural selection. So tena kusoma mbele kuhusu concept ya natural selection. Uh, tena kuona natural selection nini. Lakini ninachoweza kusema ni kwamba organism anavyokuwa anaishi kwenye mazingira fulani, kiumbe hai anavyokuwa anaishi kwenye mazingira fulani. Uh, ili aweze kuishi kwenye yale mazingira lazima awe ana adaptation yani awe amefit kwa maana yake anatukaje kwenye hali ya kawaida kwenda kwenye hali ya kufit is because of the organic evolution kwa evolution yale mabadiliko changes we call them gradual because they take place in long time so that's why we call the gradual changes um hapa tuna theories theories of organic evolution Uh, the main idea of organic of organic evolution is that population of living things undergo changes over generations. Hiyo ndio main idea. Idea kuni kwamba population population and kundi flan of living organism inago, in undergo changes with generation. Uh, generation ni kama kizazi flan cha living organism. Kwa maana yake living organism wanazidi ku evolve new generation new generation they always undergo changes. That is the idea of organic evolution. Now let's see a little uh, kusu theories of organic evolution. Hapa tunaona theories tatu. Ya kwanza ni Lamarck theory au inaitwa Lamarckism. Lamarckism then tuna Darwin theory au inaitwa Darwinism then we have neo Darwinism au modern theory. Kwa hapo maana yake kila mmoja li propose cha kwake kulingana na ideas zao kuhusu organic evolution and then later ni kwamba the new Darwinism or modern theory is the one which is most correct among the three theories of organic evolution so let's start with the first theory about Lamarck's theory commonly known as Lamarckism uh kuliko kuna huyu jamaa anaitwa Lamarck Lamarck anaitwa Jean Baptiste de Lamarck aliishi mwaka 1774 hadi 1829 was the first scientist naturalist to explain the cause of organic evolution in 19 and 8 in 18 1889 he put forward his theory of organic evolution based on two conditions so lamarck alididi asasa kwenye vitu viwili kwanza alisema use and disuse of body parts lakini pia alisema inheritance of acquired characteristics um utazelewa zaidi hizi na kwenda kuzelezea lakini kwenye use and disuse of body parts Lamarck alisema nini alisema kwamba unavyozidi kuitumia sehemu fulani ya mwili ile sehemu inazidi kuwa strong na inazidi kuwa adapted kwa itaendelea kuwepo lakini unavyo disuse yani ambavyo hauitumi ile sehemu uh, ile sehemu itashindwa kufanya kazi na baadaye inaweza ikadisia pia baadhi ya vitu ambavyo vina support kidogo Lamarck theory ni kwamba kuna viungo ambavyo vina vita ni kama ni kama havina kazi kwenye mwili kwa mfano kwa binadamu ni appendix 
Phoenix inaonekana kama ina kasi au kwa baadhi ya ndege kama Penguin Penguin ana, ana, ana wings ana mabawa lakini ha fly yani haruki juu kwa zile mabawa ile mabawa yamekuwa kama vile hana kazi yote tuta study baadaye kuhusu vitu lakini hivyo ndivyo lama kilivyosema kwenye use and disuse as long as you use the body part it becomes stronger inakuwa ina nguvu lakini as long as you disuse it au itumi ina become weak na akasema kwamba eventually inaweza kadisappear kwa according to lama kiali yaamini kwamba nyoka mwanzoni walikuwa na miguu lakini sababu walikuwa wanatembea kwa crow hawa tu mimi miguu baadaye miguu ikadisappear so tukawa tuna legless snakes na pia idea nyingi alizelezea lama ki, kama ambavyo tutaenda kuona hapo mbele kidogo kwenye inheritance of acquired characteristics lama kilisema kwamba ile characteristics ambayo ni acquired acquired characteristics kwenye genetics tunasema kwamba hizi ni characteristics ambazo zinatokana na environment sio genetic acquired characteristics confirm uh, tukimchukua panya tukamkata mkia alizaliwa akiwa na mkia that is acquired characteristics as according to lama kilisema kwamba yule panya akizaa mtoto panya mtoto wake atakuwa hana mkia pia that's not correct at all lakini that's what he proposed manake tutaenda kuiona kwenye kwenye weakness kwamba hicho kitu kikuwa sahihi lakini hicho ndicho ambavyo lama alikuwa ame propose kwenye theory yake kwa tuangalie according to lama the environment create a need which encourage or discourage the use of the given body part kwamba mazingira yanatengeneza we utumie kiungo fulani au sikitumie so if the body part is constantly used it will become stronger and hypertrophy hypertrophy manake na ongezeka ukubwa hypertrophy increase in size but if it is not constantly used it will degenerate and finally atrophy degenerate manake ni kama inapotea ku atrophy ni ku decrease in size so uh, hapa ni kwamba if the body part is not constantly used it will become weak and finally atrophy or degenerate au disappear kabisa kupotea so this is the concept of use and disuse of body parts which points out that it, uh, the more the body part is not used the weaker it become and finally disappear and vice versa so that's the use and disuse of body parts then inheritance of acquired characteristics uh, the theory furthermore points out that the acquired characteristics as the result of constant use of body parts will be inherited from one generation to another kwa according to lama kilichosema ni kwamba ile characteristics ile tukana kutumia body part sana ile body part ka become stronger na ika ika hypertrophy alichosema ni kwamba ile characteristics inaweza ka ika ile ile organism wa kizaa mtoto ile crisis inaenda kwa mtoto na mtoto mtoto mwanzake ni generation to generation inapita because that characteristic is acquired imetokana na mazingira mazingira ndio yalimlazimisha organism aweze kutumia ile body part ili become strong Uh, it was about this is the concept uh, the concept of inheritance of acquired characters which state that modification which an individual acquire during its lifetime as it adapts its environment automatically automatically handed down from one generation to another as they become part of whom herit so according to lama kia yali amini kwamba hizo hizo characters ambazo ni acquired but as it become as part of life or as part of heredity however this is doesn't happen actually in life na lama kielezea theory zake asa kutumia mfano wa wa jilef undo ndo mfano ambao commonly used in explaining the lamarckism theory ah uh, lamark alielezea kuhusu vitu vingi lakini the first and commonly used example is development of long neck jilef kwa ukiwa unaelezea la makizim theory alafu ukaambiwa uelezee examples za la makizim theory ukashindwa kuelezea long neck giraffe development of long neck giraffe tunakuchukulia kama hujasoma kabisa evolution you don't know anything so how lama said about the long neck giraffe ah uh, kulingana na lama kilicho kisema ni kwamba mwanzoni mwanzoni twiga wote walikuwa na shingo fupi sasa walipokuwa na shingo fupi walikuwa na kula majani ya chini lakini baadaye majani yale ya chini yakakauka so majani yaliyobakia ni ya kwenye miti tu juu kwa hiyo twiga wakaanza kujitanua ile shingo yao kuchuchumilia yale majani ya juu walipozidi kuchuchumilia kama unavyosema kwenye use and disuse maana nini ile neck ikabecome stronger kwenye use and disuse 
maana ke neki kwa sababu alikuwa na use sana it become strong ika extend ikawa long asa ilivyokuwa long maana ke ni environment mazingira ndio walio mlazimisha tu ilivyokuwa long ile neki ambayo ilikuwa long kutokana na acquired characteristics ile kutokana na majani kosekana ikawa inherited generation to generation up to day tunao jile fomba wao ni nani ni long neck na pia kilichotokea ni kwamba kulikuwa kuna competition ah uh, hiyo tutaenda kuiona kwenye darwinism theory kuna kitu kinaitwa survival for fitness ah uh, survival for fitness maana yake kiumbe yule ambaye anaweza kuishi kwenye mazingira ndio ataishi ambaye anashindwa atakufa kwa wale jile fwenye shingo fupi wakawa wamekufa wale ambao walikuwa na shingo fupi wakawa wanachumlia juu baada ya kuona shingo ndefu ndio ambao waliishi na ndio ambao tunao mpaka leo that is according to lamark uh, according to lamark the central gilef had short necks and front legs had short necks and front legs so migu ya mbele pamoja na shingo zilikuwa fupi so due to lack of food on land due to lack of food on land yani environmental need they were forced to look uh, to look for food on the leaves of the tall trees kwa walikuwa wanalazimika kuchuma majani kwenye kwenye miti ambayo ni mirefu so due to constant stretching of the neck muscles kwamba stretching ni kama kutanua kuivuta ile misuli ya shingo kama wanaofanya mazoezi so due to constant stretching of the neck muscles the gilef developed this stronger long necks and front legs use and disuse concept kwa maana hapo nakuja kuona kwamba kuna kwanza kuna concept ya environmental need hapo hapo baadaye kuna concept ya use and disuse ambayo ni iko kwenye Lamax theory. Kwa hivyo kuna zidi kuchuma majani ya juu ndivyo ambavyo shingo zilikuwa ndefu. Now from there tunaenda wapi? Tunaenda kwenye concept ya inherited of acquired character ambayo ah uh, tunaona kwamba zile shingo zilithiwa from generation to generation. So this acquired characters that is long neck and long front legs become part of it. Therefore got inherited from one generation to another. That is the concept of inheritance of acquired characters. Kwa hiyo hivyo ndivyo ambavyo Lama alikuwa amesema alikuwa ame suggest point mbili uh, use and disuse of body parts pamoja na inheritance of acquired character. Kwa hiyo ni kwanza kwenye GLF. Lakini example hii ni development of web defeat in ducks. Ni kwamba ilikuwaje bata wakawa na miguu ambayo ina webs. Ilikuwaje bata hasa ducks hapo ni kama wale bata maji. So according to Lamark the present day web defeats ducks were originally not webbed according to Lamark sasa webs zitokea wapi ni kwamba due to lack of food on land due to lack of food on land ko wale wale nini bata wakalazimika kwenda kutafuta chakula kwenye kwenye maji so they were forced into water looking for food wakalazimika kuanza kwenda kuogelea kwenye maji so because of constant spreading of their toes during swimming walikuwa wanalazimika kuogelea kwenye maji the skin between the toes got stretched and grew into webs this acquired character got inherited from generation to generation as it become part of it kwa unaona maana yake zile webs zilivyo tengenezwa baadaye zikawa inherited kwa concept nzile zile mbili nani use and disuse of body parts then inheritance of acquired character hiyo ni example ya pili inaelezea au evidence ya pili inaelezea la theory Example ya tatu ni development of flat fish flat fish uh, this was due to the habit to turn on one side in shallow water in shallow water kwa mwanzo maana yake hazikuwa hazikuwa flat baadaye zikawa flat kwa sababu ya kukaa kwenye maji flat TV kutokana kwa kulikuwa kuna hakuna maji kwa water ikawa shallow na wakati mwingine ilikuwa kuna mud to matope kwa hiyo kwa hivyo kunatakiwa tujue hivyo Ah uh, toka hapo tuna strength na weakness za la makizim. Kwa hiyo strength kwanza it open up the way to argue on the cause of organic evolution kwamba ilifungua njia ya kuangalia organic evolution na ndani. Pili it 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 realizes the rule played by the environment in the cause of organic evolution. Na ni kweli environment sometimes zinachangia kwenye organic evolution. Lakini tatu constant use of body part organ stretch it strengthen it So it is true kwamba hata ukiona unatumia mikono unalima sana ina become strong. Unaopiga gym the muscles they become strong. Number four, it can be tested experimental. La ingwe limitation a weakness is ndio ziko of course ni kama four nazo. Kwanza 
Lamarck theory of organic evolution and the following weakness. Once it is not true that use of, of use and disuse of a given body part can determine its existence or disappearance. Kwa body part unazo kaitumia, it can exist, unazo situmia na it can exist. So it, can, it cannot disappear because you don't use it. That is wrong. Kwa hiyo, hapo Lamarck ya likuwa medanganya. Ni kwa body part unazo siu na itumia na ikawepo, unazo kaitumia na ikawepo. Lakini piri, it is not true that the acquired characters can be inherited from one generation after generation. Only mutations of sex chromosome can be inherited from one generation to another. Kwa hiyo, ni mutation ya sex chromosome peke yake ndo naweze kwa genetic. Hiyo vengine vyo te have you kwa genetic ni ni uongo. So that is wrong. Lakini tatu, it does not distinguish inheritable from non-inheritable characteristics. Kwa sababu inheritable manake they are not inherited and they are normally not acquired characteristics. Like in the it does not explain how characteristics are inherited generation after generation. How high the genes can characteristics are acquired inherited? As a confirmed story, you know, explain the mechanism of organic evolution according to Lamarck theory and its strength, strength and weakness. So, to get you some money, come by Lamarck Ali Ali Ali, come and go and do I'm going to use and disuse. Then I'm going to use and disuse. I'm going to inheritance of acquired characteristics. So when you use and disuse, you tell say is an example. Pale, this guy is required inherited. Example, a giraffe. Example, a webbed ducks. Then example, a flat fish. When you acquire this guy is required inherited. So. Let's end up here, and in the next session, we'll be continuing with the, with the Darwin's theory of organic evolution. Na pia endelea to subscribe channel na kushare link za video. Kusabu, ata hizi picha, picha za, za la makizim theory pamoja na hao jilef. Walifu kwa chuma majani, zita kwepu kwenye video na yifata. Asinepata mna kwenye video. So thank you everybody, and I wish you nice studies. Thank you.